Hello YouTube. I want to play a game. For years you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well tonight, I will show you how. Hey, how's it going? Today you're going to learn how to make your voice sound like Jigsaw from the movie Saw using Adobe Audition. So if you have access to Adobe Audition, here you go, it's going to sound awesome. So we're going to create a new track, a new audio file. Let's go ahead and call this something, whatever you want. Jigsaw voice demo. Whatever. <clears throat> now the key to recording this is, first of all, you want to give yourself about a second, second or two, a second is fine, of just not speaking. So, so go ahead and click record and then wait about a second to actually record your line. That's going to give you some sound of just the ambience of the room. We're going to use that noise print to clean up the rest of your track. It's going to be a lot easier if you've dedicated some space to that. The other thing to keep in mind is when you're recording your line, you want to sound like Jigsaw. So you don't want to just no use your normal speaking voice like I'm sort of doing right now. You want to sound like you're in pain and you want to kind of sound dark, have a darkness to your voice. So let's go ahead and record a standard Jigsaw voice to work with. <clears throat> Hello YouTube, I want to play a game. For years you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well tonight, I will show you how. That sounds awesome, let's listen to that. Hello YouTube, I want to play a game. For years you sat by and wondered. So if you notice right here, if I click anywhere in these empty spaces, anywhere around here, you'll see that that's not just a perfectly straight line. There's some still noise going on through there. If you notice down here is like constant noise. So with that selected and area selected, go to effects, let's go to noise reduction, capture noise print. Now double click and select everything, go to effects, noise reduction, and say noise reduction process. It's going to use that print you just captured and use that as a template to get rid of everything else. So now you can see everything looks much cleaner. Hello YouTube, I want to play a game. For years you sat by and wondered so that's much more cleaner, sounds a lot more professional. I'm going to go ahead and delete a little bit extra space, make it a little quicker. Okay. So now over here in your effects rack, we're going to add some effects, and we're going to layer these on top of each other. So we're going to go ahead and click on the first one, Amplitude and Compression, and go to Amplify. And we're going to change this to 4 decibels. We're going to go to the next one, and we're going to add a hard limiter. Amplitude and Compression, hard limiter. We're going to change these. It should be at peak already, but just in case, double check that. We're going to change the maximum amplitude to negative 1. Input boost, we're going to change that to 8. Look ahead time, we're going to change that to 8 milliseconds. Five, sorry, 5 milliseconds. Just look at that. All right, uh, the release time, we're going to change that to 40 milliseconds and link the channels. The third one, we're going to add a delay and echo. We're going to go to echo. And delay time, we're going to change this to 100. Feedback is 20. Echo level is 70. And the right channel is the same thing, 100, 20. But the echo level is 50. And we're going to change this to check this echo bounce so that it bounces back and forth. Sounds fun, right? The next one we're going to add is time pitch and pitch shifter. Now this is going to depend on your voice. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. I found that for me, negative three works fantastic. So again, if you've got a deeper voice, maybe try negative two. If you've got a higher pitch voice, try negative four. Just play around with it and see what, what works best for you. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to, mine's going to be negative three, precision, high precision, splicing frequency, 20 hertz, overlapping 10%, all that works fantastic. Now the last one we're going to add is a dynamics processing under amplitude and compression, dynamics processing. Now you see there's a little point over here, but we're going to add another one by clicking here and we're going to drag it to about there where it lines up with the negative 50 here and the negative 90 there. What that does is it kind of makes the, because we've got an echo and everything in here, at the end of each line we want it to kind of cut out a little bit more quickly. So if there isn't so much of a reverb or echo going on in these empty spaces, we wanted to cut it out a little bit more quickly. So I'm going to disable these really quickly so you can hear it one more time, how it sounded before. 
Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. For years, you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well, tonight, I will show you how. Now I'm going to go ahead and toggle these back on so you can hear what it sounds like with the effects. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. For years, you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well, tonight, I will show you how. There you go. So now, if you're if you're happy with that, I mean, you can always double click on any of these and change them if you want to play around with the different settings and get different effects. If you needed to adjust the pitch based on your voice, you can go ahead and do that. Once you're done, here's the awesome thing. You can come up here, you can click Save, and you can go ahead and save that jigsaw voice as a preset. I've already got one. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it because I didn't really do much different. So now. That's going to speed up the process in the future. Next time you want to go and make a jigsaw voice, you just got to record your line. And then you come over here, you go like this, and you say jigsaw voice, and boom, all of your settings are loaded and you're ready to go. And then you just play it, make sure it sounds good. After that, you have to click on apply over here, and it's going to apply those effects. So now... Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. So now it's got your effects applied in there, and you can go ahead... Go to export file, jigsaw voice demo, awesome. Uh, I'm exporting that as an MP3, that depends on what you want to do. I'm fine with MP3 for my for the purpose of this video. If you like this and you thought it was very useful, go ahead and click on subscribe and see what else we've got coming up in the future. It's always cool. If you don't actually have access to Adobe Audition, then check out the tutorial on how to make a jigsaw voice using free software Adobe not Adobe Audacity it's free software for Mac Windows and Linux so there's really no reason why you can't get it just in case you don't have access to Adobe Audition like I do thanks for watching